Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to class number 22 of the Muda Sosfirot. We left off last time talking about the circular vessels and how they're split, and the, as well as the light that goes to those vessels and how it's split into straight light, the light of the line versus or direct light versus surrounding light, the light of the line, the light of circles, and the internal part of the vessel and the external part of the vessel. And today we're going to talk about the difference between the circular vessels and the linear vessels, and the circular light and the linear light. Omnam, achiruk sheyesh benaygulim leayosher. The difference between the circles to the line. Who? Kiyut sfirot degulim hem pchinat ha'or hanikra nefesh. The ten sfirot, the ten circular sfirot, are the light that's called nefesh. Ve'yesh behem o pnimi ve'o mekif, and they have inner light and surrounding light, as we discussed last time. Pnimi v'chitzon, inner and outer, referring to the vessels. Sheyesh la pchinat yud sfirot shel kelim. It has this idea of ten sfirot of vessels. Uvechol kli mehem yesh pnimiyot v'chitzoniyot, and every vessel has inner and out, as the inner vessel and the outer vessel. Ve'gam yesh Yud sfirot shel orot, and there's also ten sfirot of light. Bechol or yesh bo o pnimi ve'o mekif, and every light has inner light and surrounding light. Aval, a yud sfirot de yosher, but by the ten, the ten linear sfirot, hem pchinat ha'or anikra ruach. They are the light that's called ruach. So again, the circular sfirot are called the light of nefesh. The linear sfirot are called the light of ruach. Shuhu madriga gavua al madrigata nefesh. That they are a higher level than nefesh. Ruach is a higher level than nefesh. Kanoda gam hem klulim meopnimi ve omekif. But they too are also made up of uh, inner light and circular light. Gam yesh lehem yud sfirot de kelim. And they also have ten, ten sfirot of vessels. And also all ten of their vessels has an inner vessel and an outer vessel. And it's obvious, the Ari is saying, that the nefesh was emanated first, and then afterwards the ruach was emanated. So that was the Ari. Now we're going to turn to Rav Ashlag to explain to us what we read. So the first question is, about the ten circular sfirot. Kol sfirot shebechaltan rak lekabel orot. All the sfirot that are only capable of receiving light, ve'en lehen ayecholet la'ashpia la'achrim, and they don't have the ability to give to others. Nechunei ha'or shebehen b'shum b'shem or ha'nefesh. The light that's within those sfirot is called nefesh. U'kvar mitbayer shekol ha'or shebeigulim muchachim lekabel me'or ha'kav. And we've already covered that all of the light that's found in the circular sfirot, they have to get from the line, from the light of the line, the linear light. And the reason is because the upper light cannot connect to the vessels, except for through this partnership of the masach, the screen, that gives O Chozer, returning light. Asher O Chozer Azeh, Mekasher O Bakelim. This returning light, you know, we haven't fully discussed what exactly returning light is, but we will soon. This returning light is what connects the light to the vessel. That's what you need to know for now. Ulefikach, Hakelim She'en Bayam Amasach Azeh. The vessels that don't have this Masach, namely the circular vessels, as we know, we covered earlier that circular vessels do not have a screen. They don't have a masach. The upper light does not connect with them. And therefore, they're not capable of giving, of influencing from above to below. And they can only receive light from the level above them. From below to above. 
לצורך חיותם עצמם בלבד, just to make sure, just enough to keep them alive. שאור זה נקרא אור הנפש, this type of light, this light without a screen, without a מסך, that the upper light can't truly connect to this vessel, but they get a little bit just to keep them alive. This light is called nefesh. Ulefikach, kevan she'en masach bakelim digulim kanal. Even though there is no masach in the circular vessels, al ken en ha'or al yon mitkasher bahem atzmam. So since there is no masach in circular vessels, that, that's why the light can't fully connect to these vessels. They have to get their light from the line. They can't get it directly from the source because they have no masach. They have no, the masach is what allows a vessel to do ol chozer and then create somewhere to put all this light. Since circular vessels don't have that, they have to get it through the, through the linear vessels, through the, through the linear sfirot. And even what they get from the line is only to keep them alive. And it's not enough for them to give. And this is why the light within the circular sfirot is called nefesh. So that's the circular sfirot. Now to the linear sfirot. Yud sfirot de ruach. Why is it called ruach? The ten spheres of ruach, hen prinat mashpim, they are the givers. Ulefikach nikra or ruach b'shem or azachar, and therefore the light of ruach is called the male light. Klomar shu mashpia because it gives. Remember, this is no, we're not talking about the physical difference between men and women. We're talking about a spiritual idea of whenever something is a giver, it's considered masculine, and whenever something is a receiver, it's considered feminine. אבל יהיו צפירות דה נפש, but the ten צפירות of נפש מכונות בשם אור נקבה. They're called female light. כלומר שמקבלת ואינה יכולה להשפיע, because it receives, she receives, and it can't give. ועל כן מכונות יהיו לצפירות של אור הקו, and therefore the ten צפירות of the light, of the linear light, בשם יהיו צפירות דה רוח, are called the ten צפירות of רוח. להורות שהן בחינת אור זכר ומשפיע. To show that they are light that is male and that it gives. It's not just enough to, to survive. It's so much that you, that you can give from it. And the reason has already been explained above. And in, the, in what we just read before, we can understand that what, what's the difference between just, just surviving and then giving to other people. I think we can actually draw an interesting lesson from this. If we're only obsessed, if we're only considered in receiving what we need for ourselves, then yeah, we're alive. You eat, you eat enough food, you drink enough water, do some exercise every now and then. That's what you need to stay alive. But you want to be, you want to live, you want to be alive, you want to be able to influence other people. For this, you have to give. And because of this having to give, this amazing idea comes, you actually get more light from having to give. Because now you have, you're giving to other people. And this is why ruach is considered higher than nefesh, because it gives to nefesh. General rule, whenever one thing gives to another, the giver is considered higher than the receiver. Moving on in the Avi. Also when the ten sfirot are in this idea of circles, one within the other, we talked before about how the ten circular sfirot are concentric circles. Yesh bahem kol abkhinot shel kabalat shefa they have within them all of this idea of receiving abundance. So within the ten, the ten circular sfirot, they have this idea of receiving all of the abundance that comes from the linear sfirot. And this is how it works. 
in the circle of Ketel, anikra arich anpin, achar tikkun, which is called arich anpin after the tikkun, meaning after everything is fixed. Yesh neke vechad vechalon betzad yemin haigul. There is a small, there is one small hole and a window on the right side of the circle. Again, we're not talking about physical position, right, left, center. We're going to be using those words a lot in the next few lines. But just remember, we're not talking about physical position here. Everything has a code, and Rav Ashlag will explain it to us. Umisham yored or arich eligul abba. From this hole and window on the right side of the circle, the light goes down. The light of arich and pin of the circle of Ketel goes down to Abba, Umi'ir Alav, and it shines onto it. And then there's a second window. On the left side of this circle of Keter, and the light goes out until the left side of the circle of Abba, also known as the circle of Chochmah, which is within it, again, because the circle of Abba, or the circle of Chochmah, is within the circle of Arich and Pin, the circle of Ketel. Venokvo venesa bochalon, and this light that comes from the left of Arich and Pin and to the left of Abba, now breaks through it and creates a window. Umeisham nimshach ha'or adigul ima, and from there the light is drawn until the circle of Ima. Shbetoch igul Abba, which is within the circle of Abba. Umeirbo, and it shines onto it. Venimtza ki ba'avur ha'or toch and we find that through the light that's in the left of that went through the left of the circle of Abba, Enola Abba it's small. It's not it goes through the circle of Abba, but it's not meant for Abba itself. It only goes through in passing. But the main idea of this shining of this light from the left is is to go to Ima. V'nimtzak yarich anpin meir le'aba ve'ima yachad. And we find now that arich anpin shines to both Abba and Ima together. K'mo shu b'inyan ha'yosher shenem namash. Which is like the same idea within the linear light, mamash. It's truly the same, the same concept. V'af ki hem igulim zu betoch zu. And even though they are concentric circles, they have within them uh, lines, straight lines. Yamin, usmol ve'emtza, right, left, and center. These three lines. Through these windows that we've been discussing. Umisham, and from there, nimshach ol biyudas From there, the light is drawn into the ten sfirot, the ten circular sfirot. Derech kavim yisharim amash through. These straight lines, detail by detail, that are within the ten sfirot of the line or the ten sfirot of ruach, mamash. So basically, what we what we covered here is that the Ari is saying that the way the light travels from circle to circle is through the line. But what does that mean? So Ramash Lag is happy to explain to us. Meaning that the five levels, Keter, Chochma, Bina, Zeranpin, and Nukva, or Zeranpin, and Malchut, are not drawn through, through, uh, through the linear. Meaning one below the other. From, what, is, what does linear mean? A little refresher course. Linear means that one below the other means that the one above is more pure, more dematerialized than the next. Ela shehem adagot shavot zulezu, but rather these five levels are equal, are equal with each other. How are they equal with each other? We we remember with the example of concentric circles, the top half of any one circle is going to be above the bottom half of any other circle, and vice versa. So even the most inner circle, the circle on the inside, the top half of the most inner circle is still above the whole bottom half of the circle on the outside. 
So in this, in this way, they're equal. They're not one above the other. They're concentric circles. One is not below the other. What does it mean that it's not below? That it's not more materialized. That it's not more impure. What's, so what's the difference between them? They have The difference between them is of cause and effect. One caused the next one. That's how we differentiate between the circles. Not based on what is more pure or less pure. Because one comes out of the next. And they're drawn one from the other. came from Keter, and Bina from and Zeranpin came from Bina, and Zeranpin came from Bina. However, this, dif- this differentiation of cause and effect that we just said, we call it, the, the, the term that we use to define this is their existence one within the other. Every cause surrounds its effect. Why, why are cause and effects like with like circles here? So in Hebrew, the word that we use for cause that we're using for cause and effect, siba and mesovav, is the same root as lesovev to go around, which brings in this whole concept of circles. So what do we mean by cause and effect? If we're looking at the diagram here, if you're making a mental diagram, if you have your concentric circular sphirot, and the one on the outside caused the one next in line inside. So Keter caused Chochmah, which caused Bina, which caused Zeranpin, which caused Malchut. Asher HaChochmah mesovevet mi Keter, that the Chochmah was caused by Keter, or is surrounded by Keter, is surrounded by etc. In the sense that one is within the other. They will show So what does it mean one is within the other? It means that one caused the other. Or one was caused by the other. But they have no the differentiation between them has nothing to do with higher or lower. More more physical or less physical. This is not a not a terminology we use when we're talking about the circular sfirot. So the next part. So the light when it passes when it goes through the vessels one by one. The vessels leave an impact, leave a mark on the light. Even when the light leaves one vessel to, to go, even when the light leaves one vessel to go to another vessel, the light doesn't change the way it operated from the way it operated in the previous vessel. And therefore, since the light was in the linear, it was drawn in this idea of one below the other, which is a terminology we use when we're talking about the linear sfirot. What does it mean that it went in the way of one below the other? It means that step by step it became more materialized. Through what? Through... This masach, this screen that we use to give Or Chozel, the whole concept of the masach is that it's, it's materialism. It, that, that is what differentiates in the linear sfirot one from the next. So even after it leaves the linear sfirot, and now we're coming to the circular sfirot that don't have a masach themselves. And it and it surrounds them by force. In kolze, through all of this, it still 
operates the same way when it goes from one level to the next. Meaning what? Perush. For example, when the light of the line comes to Keter, he, circum he circumnavigates there. What does it mean that it goes around? It means it, it accepts upon itself the form of that vessel. And since we're talking about circular vessel, She'en sham hefchen malamata. In these circular vessels, there's no above and below. There's no concept of this linear one is on top of the next. But when the light goes from the circle of Ketel to the circle of Chokmah, it doesn't stay in this circular idea. It's drawn in a linear way. In a difference of above to below. In this way, we have a, an amazing chidush here. In this way, the circular sphira of Chokhmah is actually below the circular sphira of Keter. And it's more materialized than Keter. Because their forms are not the same. And this same way, when the light comes from Chochmah to Bina, it's drawn in a linear way. And we define it as the Bina being below Chochmah, meaning more materialized than Chochmah. And this, through this way of the light, with, while well, it's within the circular vessel, it doesn't have this linear concept of above and below, but when it passes from one to the next, it does. So even though the 10 circular sphere themselves, them within themselves, not the light that's coming to them, but just, just looking at the 10 circular sphere alone, even though by then their form is the same, there's no difference from the perspective of the vessels, of the circular vessels. There's no difference of above and below. Even though the vessels themselves have no differentiation like this between them, they do have this differentiation of above and below. Why? Why? So now we understand what the Ari said when he, when he told us that within the circular sfirot, they have all of this receiving of, of the abundance through the way of the linear light. So just to summarize what we, what we just read here, we're saying when the light, the light has to come from the line to the circles. Why? Because of the contraction and then the masach, and because the circular sfirot don't have a masach themselves, they have to they have to receive from the line. So the light, when it travels from level to level, assumes the form of the line. Meaning what? That wherever it's traveling from is higher than wherever it's traveling to. So even though the circular sfirot, their vessels do not have this differentiation of above and below. The light, when it goes between them, materializes a little bit more in between each step. And we find that the light that goes into these vessels is now more materialized than the vessel before it. And there we have the differentiation of above and below. So continuing. Perush. Achal shenit after we have set these four worlds, Atzilut, Brea, Yetzirah, and Asiyah, every, every sfira is created into a full system with this idea of Rosh, Toch, and Sof. Head, middle, and end. What exactly that means, we'll get into another time. And because of this, after we've fully fixed these four worlds, they get new names. 
לפרצוף שנעשה מכתר and the system that's created from the sphere of Keter נקרא בשם אריך אנפין is called אריך אנפין that is the name of the system that, that we call Keter so the Keter is a sphere it's, it's created into this full system and this full system is called אריך אנפין והפרצוף שנעשה מחוכמה and the system that's created from חוכמה נקרא בשם אבא it's called אבא והפרצוף הנעשה מבינה and the system that's made from בינה נקרא בשם אימא is called אימא והפרצוף שנעשה משש הספירות חגת נהי and the system that's created from the six ספירות of חסד גבורת תפארת נצח חוד אין יסוד נקרא בשם זאר אנפין is called זאר אנפין והפרצוף הנעשה ממלכות and the system that's called that's, that's made from מלכות נקרא בשם נוקבה is called נוקבה הוראת אלו השמות תתבאר במקומם בעזרת השם and the specific reason for each one of these names and what they mean what they tell us about these filot Rav Ashlag tells us we will discuss later בעזרת השם פירוש כי כבר ידעת so now we're so that was Arich Anpin so now we're going to talk about what exactly is this hole and window this is that's going to be the discussion for the next few paragraphs כי כבר ידעת you already know שמסיבת אור של י' ספירות הקו because of the tense because of the light of the tense ספירות of the line המקובל בעיגולים that is received within the circles מתרשמות בהכרח כל הבחינות הדי יושר גם בעיגולים the you have the impact all you have all the all the aspects of of linear are now impacted or marked by the circular as well והנה זו הבחינה שישנה בקו שנקרא מסך and this is the idea that they have that you have only within the line which is called מסך שבאור חוזר שלו נמצא מקשר את האור העליון בכלים that through the אור חוזר that comes from the מסך it ties the light with the vessel הנה גם המסך הזה מתרשם בעיגולים so just like the circles affect the lines the circular affects the linear so too this מסך leaves its mark on the circular אלא בלי אהביות שבו rather but without the the thickness the materialism of the מסך why is that an important why is that an important detail כי אביות לא תוכל לעלות ממדרגה התחתונה לעליונה ממנה אפילו כלשהו because the, material, the materialized part of the מסך cannot go up from a lower level to a higher level at all שהרי על כל על כן נקראת עליונה that's why the higher one is called higher because the, thick, the materialism from a lower מסך cannot reach there לפי שאין בה אביות כמו בתחתונה, כי זה doesn't have, the higher one doesn't have as much materialism as the lower one, ואבן, and understand this well. אלא, רק מבחינת הרווח, only this, this space, this benefit, what benefit? שהמסך הזה מגלה בתחתונה, that the מסך creates within the lower, the lower vessel, דהיינו בעשר ספירות דה יושר, which is, which you only have within the which what is the benefit that you get it is the ten sfirot the little ten linear sfirot this is the only thing that goes up from the masach of the line and it makes its mark on the circles and the benefit from this masach is called a window so again what is the benefit that we're talking about here that the circles get from the mark that the masach leaves on them they don't get a masach itself they don't get a real masach they don't have their own ol chozel that is not how the circular vessels work what they do get is the light the concept of the linear light that goes to them that is the benefit that they get from the masach and this benefit we call a window. כדוגמת החלון המותקן בחדר כדי להביא האור באותו החדר. Like literally like a window in a room that's put there to bring light into the room. כן המסך הזה מגלה האור 
החוזר בסגולתו לקשר את האור בנאצל. So too this, this מסך reveals the light, reveals the returning light through its, through its desire to connect the light to the vessel. באופן שאם המסך יתעלם משם, if there was no מסך, if the מסך disappears, היה האור מסתלק מהנאצל והיה נשאר בחושך. If there was no מסך, the light would leave the emanated or the vessel and it would, be, and it would stay in darkness. כדוגמת סתימת החלון אצל החדר. Just like putting blinders or something dark over the window. לפי כך, כשאנו באים לכנות רק את הרווח מהמסך, therefore, when we come to name this benefit, just the benefit from the מסך, not the מסך itself, ולהוציא את אוביותו, and to separate it from its materialism, which is the main idea of the מסך, אנו מגדירים זה בשם חלון או נקב. We call it a window or an opening. So again, what is this benefit from the מסך? Masach gives the linear light the ability to actually give light to the circular vessels. Without the Masach, there would be no light. It would all be darkness. Through this Masach, the linear light has the ability to first get its own light, and then it now has the ability to give to the circles. And that is the benefit that we talk about leaves its mark on the circular sphere. So, what does it mean now, the windows on the right side of the circle? היינו שנתרשם גם כן בערכי ימין ושמאל שהיו משמשים ביהודה ספירות דה יושר. So what is this right and left of the circle that we're talking about? The circles also get, effect, also get the mark from the lines in another way. They have this idea of right and left, which is something that comes from the linear ספירות. So this is another mark that the linear sphere leave on the circular sphere. Kloma, meaning, because of this window, we now have this definition of drawing and the coming down of light. That the light, what does it mean that light is drawn? or that the light comes down, it means that the light is now going and becoming slightly more materialized through the order of the levels, with, of the sefirot. The lower level is more materialized than the upper level. And this that, it, this that the Ari said, And from there, Arich, Arich and Pin, goes down to the circle of Abba. כלומר שמסיבת החלון קיבל האור בחינת אביות ובחינת מטה אצל אבא דיגולים. That through this window that we've discussed, the light now has this, I, now accepted on itself some materialism and this idea of being lower than אריך אנפין into now this new idea of אבא. כלומר, sorry. דהיינו חוכמה, so אבא is חוכמה, אשר הושפלה במדרגה ואין השבה עתה אל הכתר דיולים. So now אבא was lowered, and now it is not considered at the same level as כתר of the circles, כתר of the circles is אריך אנפין, now אבא is חוכמה, and it's a little lower than כתר. כמו שהיה בטרם שקיבלו האור די יושר דרך החלון, just like it was, so it's no longer like it was when before the circular vessel started receiving linear light. Now the circle of Chochmah is a little lower than the circle of Keto because of this mark that the linear light leaves on it. And the same goes for Bina being lower than Chochmah. Mashmeenu shinyan achalon ze. So now the next step of going from Chochmah to Bina. So this window that we're talking about, Now 
This window is made together with the coming down of the light to the, from the upper circle. Meaning that at this moment, that light, So what does it mean that the light comes down together with the creation of this window? It means that this light, as it's coming down, as it's arriving at the next level, it leaves the mark of the masach, which is included within it. Because remember, this light is coming from the line, and the line has the masach. And therefore it's defined as if the light is puncturing through it. And it creates a window. What is this puncturing through it? It creates this benefit that we talked about of the linear light from the masach, which only really exists in the linear light, but it leaves its mark on the circles. So Rav Ashtag tells us about what does it mean that the light only goes through in passing when we're talking about the light that goes from the circle, from the left of the circle of Alei Pin, through the left of the circle of Abba to the circle of Ima. So it's, the Ari used the term in passing. And quick thing, but if you want to go in depth to what in passing means, please go to uh, a couple lectures ago. In passing basically means that when the light pa goes from one level to another, if it passes through any other levels, but it's not intended for those levels, the light, it doesn't, it's not that it skips those levels and goes directly to its destination. It goes through in passing and the light actually does go to those vessels and then keeps going. So now, when, we, when the Ari said, that the circles have straight lines. What does that mean? The light goes down from circle to circle through drawing the light in a linear way. But this is not considered truly, the fix, truly fixed in the way of lines. That go down from the masach, that they have within them the male light, the, meaning the giving light. That they can give to others. So, why is this not considered true linear light? Because this linear light that goes from circle to circle, they don't have this giving ability. Because they go through this window. It's only enough to, for the circular vessels for themselves. And not to give to others. And this is the general rule. Anything that doesn't have a true masach. In Bo or Zahar doesn't have male light, meaning what? Ela or Nekevashu or Nefesh. It only has female light, this light of Nefesh. There has no giving capabilities. And we're going to end it there, but I want, what I would like to take away from this, and I hope you took, take away from here too, is that, yeah, to be alive, you have certain needs. Everybody has certain needs. Food, water, exercise, oxygen, etc. This is what we need to receive to stay alive. But in order to be able to give to others, in order to, in, to influence other people, we need the masach. We need to be able to push back, to give back. So again, if we're only focused on receiving for ourselves and what we need, we'll survive. But if we want to really influence what's around us, if you're frustrated with what's going on around you, give. And that will change you into, the, into somebody who can influence what's going on around you. Have a great week.